really, hydrogen is one of the key topics at the, the 24th World Energy Congress. Now, I've been in the energy industry, primarily coming from the digitization side for many years, and I have to be honest, when people say to me, hydrogen, Siemens wasn't the first company that I thought of when, when they said hydrogen. But Siemens, gas and power, you've, you've been doing a lot with hydrogen for many years. Well, Kevin, um, as you say, being, being Siemens are quite a large company, and um, not everybody always knows what we're doing, but with our activities in gas and power, especially in the, in the oil and gas and chemical industry, we are very close to the areas that hydrogen is either produced or, or consumed. So we had a very early touch point with, yeah. with hydrogen, and, and today we can be proud and say there's 55 projects out there globally already parts of us, or even to a large extent operating with, with hydrogen in the, in the gas turbine fire power generation. And you have a talk later on this afternoon around the role of hydrogen, mm -hmm. and you speak about sector coupling, and it's it's not just about producing hydrogen and then trying to figure out what to do with it. You, you have a grand plan of sector coupling and how, it, how industries feed together. Well, many people talk about sector coupling, and I do believe not many people know actually what it, what it means and That's how it's true. going to be, be done properly. Uh, one thing we found out is when we looked at hydrogen first, and we thought this is going to be the backup for the renewable energy, and we're going to use it as a storage medium. Yeah, that's where be, I came across it first for which will then be, in the ground. Then be used in our existing gas fire power plants uh, for, for peaking, for peaking load. Uh, but then pretty soon we had to realize mm, this is not going to be competitive in, in today's environment. Uh, and all of a sudden, a demand for e-fuels popped up in the mobility sector. Okay. And, and then we started to see, well, how can we now convert renewable power into hydrogen? That's our electrolyzer product we are working on and, and keep increasing. And instead of using the hydrogen where we thought for power generation, uh, the first projects are now going using that in the mobility sector or in the chemical sector. And this is what sector coupling means, that people like us who are normally just looking at how to get the light in here, all of a sudden we look at mobility, we look at the aircraft industries and see how can we connect power from here with the demands over there. And the folks with fertilizer and whatever, and it's a feedstock for all sorts of industries. Exactly, and then the, the, the the second big, big option is, is feedstock for, for chemical industries. Uh -huh. uh, you talked about ammonia yeah. uh, for, for agriculture, exactly. Yeah, yeah no. Now, the World, uh, the World Energy Council brought out a recent note talking about hydrogen and the opportunity. Mm -hmm. but it's not going to happen overnight. So, so we're here in the Middle East. Like, let's say there's a, an abundance of natural gas and things like that. How, how do you, how do you frame hydrogen in? What's the roadmap for the future from you guys? Well, we see three three developments around the globe. The one is is clearly chemical industries, like I talked earlier, yep. who have hydrogen already and, and mix yeah, that true, now yeah. as traditional fuels. So that's number one, and this is what we are following. And uh, all our gas turbine products will be 20% minimum hydrogen ready by 2020. Okay. So, 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 so I can like, start. I can start feeding in some hy so uh, mix start, of hydrogen. So you can start feeding into that. Uh, then we see many nations trying to find out what to do with hydrogen. For example, here in the Emirates, uh, Diva is building a pilot plant for the for the Expo next year. Okay. Where we are supplying the the electrolyzer. Oh, the, the Expo 2020. Expo 2020. Uh, we signed over the weekend a, a minutes of understanding with. State power in China okay. for for testing uh, hydrogen and developing hydrogen in Beijing, and then we have the German Real Laboratory, which is also a way of, of a government um, stipulating demand and, and motivating industry and consumers to really see how far and how fast we can go with hydrogen. So this is all what what we see see happening small scale, and which will lead us to be competitive. But then there's areas, especially Latin America, Australia, where Renewable power is already available at low, comparably low cost and available at a long time, a long period over the year. Yeah. So, so where we see power generation costs at twenty dollar less per megawatt hour, okay. and equipment running more than six thousand hours, we can start seeing hydrogen and and methane uh, and any other derivatives becoming competitive in the market. So, so there's a price point where it, if I may, we saw with wind turbines over the years where they're very expensive, but they there's price points, it grows. Exactly, and, and if you look at hydrogen, then and I believe also we are a bit where the, the wind 
Pepper Vines around 10, 20 years ago. Okay. So, so over the next decade, uh, and stipulated by the Bishop Society to really become carbon neutral, I can see that development really accelerated. But you, you see all of what's going on with the, the next generations and, and the climate strike and the Fridays for the strike and climate, whatever, you know, having a, a carbon neutral fuel completely, you know, you can see where there's a society need for this in the, the next generation. Exactly. Now, and there's a massive demand and this is what we are also investing a lot of. Um, so so we, are, we are committed that our whole gas turbine fleet will be 100% hydrogen uh, ready by 2030. Okay. So, so depending on how fast the hydrogen infrastructure and generation picks up, at least our existing uh, infrastructure out there will be easy to be converted by, by our customers. So I don't have to forklift upgrade every gas turbine, I can, I can buy them today and then start burning yeah. exactly. hydrogen tomorrow. Exactly, so, so we, we just uh, a couple of weeks ago we announced uh, a combined cycle power plant for Evonik in Germany. Okay. Which, is, which is their last uh, their last replacement of coal-fired power generation in one of the largest German industrial parks. Okay. And, and that unit is running on combined heat and power, 90% fuel efficiency. So they are already saving a million ton of CO2 every year just by, by, by that switching. final switch now in, in their production. Uh, but we are convinced that over the next decade they will gradually come in with syn gases, hydrogen, and so on and so on. So so that piece of equipment can stay there and just needs to be more modernized over time and can convert to CO2 for production. Now, I spend all my time looking at technology mostly, so i got to ask. Mm -hmm. I'm not a gas turbine expert, but when people hear, okay, so I have a gas turbine, I'm burning natural gas, I know it can feed in hydrogen. Is that easy to do, or is it, is it, is it a huge amount of technological change inside in the turbine to be able to, to consume hydrogen? I think we all know from, from history that hydrogen has quite high energy density. I'm thinking of, thinking of airships. <laughs> it, for example, exactly. And, and, and this is what, of course, needs to be managed also in a gas turbine. So you want a very controlled way of, of burning this hydrogen. Okay, I hadn't thought of that. Hydrogen. But there's also uh, new technologies available in our guys, like, like additive manufacturing. Okay. Where, where you can really come up with designs you couldn't manufacture in uh, five, ten years ago. Okay. And we're using these type of technologies to really come... This is what's under the to, 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 to a process also in, in our combustion systems which controls this high energy density of hydrogen. Wow, hey, I wish you well. Thank you very you much. Did that. Thank you, Kevin. It was a pleasure.